Hi friends, it's Mrs. Martin again and I'm here with another science lesson for you. And this week we're going to be talking about inventions and inventors. Now, how many of you have had a water gun fight? Do you know where this idea came from? Have you ever heard of Lonnie Johnson? You can click on the book or you can click on the video link to learn a little bit more about Lonnie Johnson. He was an inventor who was tinkering, and as the result of an accident, he thought it would make a great water gun, hence the invention of the super soaker and later the development of the Nerf gun. Oh, give me a second. I need to go put my juice in the freezer. Hmm. Did you know that the first popsicle was invented by a young boy of only the age of 11 who left his drink out overnight on a cold wintry night? The next day, his stirring stick had frozen into the cup, hence the popsicle. These are both examples of inventions. Some are by accident, and some are created to solve a problem. Most inventions are created out of necessity. Recently, one of my students shared with me her own invention. Let's take a look. Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you my invention. I made it because I can't reach the top of the window. How I made it was I attached the hanger to the hook on the top and I tied the jump rope on. This is how it works. I just pull it down and then the light will shine through and your window would be open. Thanks for watching. Bye! So what was the problem? The window shade was too high, so she solved the problem making it more accessible to her. I did ask her how she was able to raise the shade back up and she said she's working on that next. Thanks so much, Mia, for sharing. So, how do we invent something? All year long, we have been talking and studying about the engineering design process. Do you remember hearing about this? This is a six-step process to help us organize our thoughts and make a plan. Let's take a closer look at these steps. Let's take a look at the engineering design process. It's normally a five-step process, ask, imagine, plan, create, and improve, with the addition of share. Step one, ask. What is the problem? How do we start? What do we need? Step two, imagine. Brainstorm ideas. Choose the best one. Step three, plan. Draw your design. Make a list of the materials you'll need. Step four, the fun part. Follow your plan, create it, and test it out. Step five, improve. What works? What doesn't? What could be better? Change your design and make it better. Now I did say this is a six step process and the last most important step is to share your ideas. This is how we learn from one another. Share with your friends, your family, or even the larger community. So now let's take a look at this process with a problem that my son Eli had. Hey Eli, can you share with us a problem that you had? Yeah, sure. So I got a new bike, but it was a little too big for me. So uh, when I would stop and stand, it was really uncomfortable. So I found some pool noodles we had, like this one, and uh, my mom helped me cut down the middle, and uh, then uh, we added it to the bar on my bike right here, and I used a couple of zip ties to secure it. That's great, Eli. So first you identified the problem, which was the bar was uncomfortable. And then you asked, well, what can I do to the bar so it doesn't hurt me? So you imagined a solution of padding it somehow. Then you made a plan to use the pool noodle. You created it, but did you have any problems that, ha that required you to improve it? Yes, at first I didn't zip tie, but it wouldn't stay on. So with help, we came up with the idea of the zip ties. Nice. Great job. That's awesome, Eli, and I know that you have made many more inventions, just as my friends at home. My friends, that is how easy it is to make an invention, so here is my challenge to you. I want you to click on the planning sheet, download that, and I want you to use it to identify a problem that you have had, make a plan to solve your problem, and I want you to invent something, create it. Then could you share that with your classmates and your friends and even your community? See how far you can go with your invention, my friends. 
And that's a wrap for school year 2019-2020 as far as our science lessons go. Um, but don't stop here. You can always go back and do some of those science experiments that you may have missed. I can't wait to see you again in the fall. And I hope that you have a wonderful summer. Bye-bye.